guys, it's Lauren from Pink Bird Originals and today I want to talk to you about why it might not be the best idea to buy the Brother PR 10,050X machine or more commonly known as the Brother 10 needle machine. <laughs> This is my brother embroidery machine. Uh, as you can see, it's a six needle, not a 10 needle. This is the model PR655, but in this house, we call her Matilda. Um, oops, sorry, Matilda. And she's a fantastic machine. I purchased her when I was upgrading from my brother VR machine, which is a single needle embroidery machine. The VR machine was great, but anybody who runs an embroidery business from home will realize that running an embroidery business with a single needle a domestic machine isn't really a sustainable way forward in the long term. So purchasing a multi-needle machine was actually quite an easy decision to make for me. However, one big sticking point is the price on these things. Three years ago, this embroidery machine cost me £6,000 brand new, and I think generally they still are on the market for that price brand new. And that's a lot of money to throw at a piece of equipment if you're a hobbyist or if you're a business operating out of a spare bedroom in a semi-detached house. But I think even though the price is sometimes hard to justify, everyone can sympathize with the drawbacks of having a single needle embroidery machine and having to change the thread because it's only got one needle, having to change the thread every time the machine changes the color. What that means is you can never really leave the machine alone for any amount of time. Like there's no way you could fit in a cup of tea or squeeze in an episode of Bling Empire. You have to be hovering over the machine all the time to be prepared to change that thread to keep the machine going to finish your projects. Which, if you're a hobbyist, maybe that isn't such a big deal, but if you're running an embroidery business, time, uh, time keeping, time management, reducing the time it takes to make things, that is absolutely essential. So if you're thinking of developing your embroidery business and your logos have more than one color in them, then a multi-needle is an inevitability for you. Like, on some of my designs, I can just set the machine up and let it run and it might stitch 40 minutes to an hour continuously without stopping. And that is so beneficial because you can be doing other things in that time, like whether it's uh, mailing customers, packing orders, uh, the possibilities are endless, setting up your mach the other machines for the next project and so on. So multi-needles and businesses go together like peas and carrots. And as it is one of the cheapest multi-needle machines on the market at the minute, uh, it's cheaper than the Tajima Sai, which is uh, Tajima's seven needle sort of, uh, what, what's the word, kind of like crossover machine. It's more for, do not domestic, like more for commercial use rather than industrial use. You can take the Tajima Sai to shops and on the road view and things. Uh, this is cheaper than that. It's also cheaper than Happy Japan's... I think that's a seven needle embroidery machine as well. No, I think the Tajima is an eight needle and the Happy is a seven needle. And yeah, basically this is cheaper than all of the entry level industrial embroidery machines. So if you're coming from a single needle and you're a little bit unsure, uh, the Brother interface is generally the same across all of their machines, which is why I'm gonna be using this as my example today, even though I've sold my 10 needle machine because the user interface is generally the same whether you're buying um, the Brother V3 or the uh, 10 needle entrepreneur. As long as it's got this kind of capacitive touchscreen, the software within the machine is roughly the same. And between the uh, Brother 10 needle and the Brother 6 needle, the machine is the same, it's just got more needles. So that's how I justified buying my uh, Brother PR machine because I knew Brother was a reputable brand. They sort of have a monopoly on the UK market. So as I was making that sort of tentative, cautious step from a single needle to a multi-needle, uh, choosing Brother again made sense because I knew there was that support network there. And if anything went wrong by buying it uh, from a dealership, I'd have that kind of safety net to fall back on should anything go wrong. And I think for a lot of people that's important because the entire concept of owning a multi-needle, whether you're purchasing it for your business or you're just growing your hobby, 
the idea of having this sort of huge expensive beast in your house it's much more reassuring to buy it from a brand you already know and understand and i think generally the the brother brand is sort of built around the demographic that their target audience is more uh middle to sort of grand ish age uh people so this machine was built for your nana that's why it's so user friendly anyone can just kind of hop on start embroidering and as long as they've got some kind of knowledge of what they're doing the machine is fairly straightforward to use so this machine is essentially a great stepping stone from uh, the domestic and the sort of light industry side of embroidery into the more heavy duty heavy industry uh, industrial embroidery machines like your happy japan tajima and ZSK. But this video is entitled Why is the Brother PR670 or whatever it's called so great? This video is titled Why is the 10 Needle Brother such a bad investment? So I want to start off by saying that this video isn't sponsored and in fact after posting this I'm half expecting Brother to come and kick down my door and say you don't deserve our embroidery machines anymore and just take them away from me. But I'm just very passionate about embroidery and I, when I see people posting in Facebook groups about oh I've just brought the brother 10 needle like it's the best thing in the world it just makes me really cross because there are so many other great industrial machines out there that are probably better for them you can get them at a much better price than the brother 10 needle while I haven't personally owned a Tajima or a ZSK or a Rekoma I have extensively research what embroidery machine I wanted to have in my house because I'm very limited on space and I'm very conscious about the noise of uh, the machines how much noise they make and how much that's going to affect my next door neighbors I was really looking for a, a quieter industrial machine something that's quite compact and something that I can actually carry upstairs into an upstairs bedroom my budget was about nine thousand pounds so as I started looking around, and I mean, I really, really looked around, I can't emphasize that enough. The machine that I eventually landed on were Happy, uh, Happy Japan 12 Needles, the Happy Voyager embroidery machines. And I'm gonna give you all of the reasons why I purchased these machines over the Brother 10 Needle. But then a little while later, I did actually purchase a Brother 10 Needle secondhand and just because it was a really good deal and I'm always on the lookout for new embroidery machines to sort of add to my kind of collection. So I purchased the Brother 10 needle secondhand, I think for about uh, £6,000 and I kept it for about two months and I got rid of it. And I purchased another Happy Japan machine because these machines are just so good. So why are they so good in comparison to the Brother 10 needle? So I know a lot of people talk about brand loyalty. And so if you buy a Brother, a Brother industrial machine, you should stick with a Brother industrial machine. Just like if you buy uh, Happy Japan or Tajima, you should really stick with those brands when it comes to servicing because it's cheaper to get uh, all of your machines serviced at one time. And you can't do that if you buy lots of different brands, you'll be paying um, additional service charges to get those machines uh, looked at by maintenance men because they'll all come from different places. And I did, I really did take that into consideration when I was buying my machine, when I was changing from the brand of Brother, which I've been with from the start. Uh, I've had three or four, yeah, four, Brother embroidery machines in total before I bought the Brother PR and I didn't really want to change because my uh, maintenance guy is so so great and so so helpful. I wanted to stay with Brother but I needed more needles. I needed a bigger machine because all of my embroidery patches that I make regularly, the majority of them were about, uh, well say, 8 to 10 colours. So while the Brother 10 needle would have covered that, I sort of took a step back and I thought, I'm becoming a bigger business and the Brother 10 needle machine is still billed as a domestic to commercial embroidery machine. It's built for hobbyists, it's built with hobbyists in mind and I'm an industry so I started looking around at what else is out there and there were a lot of contributing factors but the thing that swayed me to the happy machines the most and I think the thing that will stick out in a lot of people's minds is the price. 
The Brother 10 Needle PR1050X, I think is the newest model. When it's not on sale, it's £9,000. So it really was at the top end of my budget. That's including VAT. Sometimes it's on sale and you can pick it up for £8,000. But for the sake of this video, and at the time I was looking, it was £9,000. And you get 10 needles. And it's a domestic to commercial machine. And then behold, the happy Voyager, the answer to all my prayers. Not only is it named after my favorite starship, yeah, it has 12 needles. That's two more than the brother. It's industrial. It has all metal parts. I'm pretty sure that the brother has plastic parts. I'm positive I read that somewhere and plastic parts are more likely to wear out than the uh, metal bearings and whatnot this machine has. And it's quieter and it's smaller and it is £600 cheaper. So that's right, including that, this is £8,400 and you get two more needles. It's a no-brainer. I think I probably already sold a bunch of people on this machine. Go buy it now, you can turn off, my job here is done. But if you're a skeptic and I haven't sold it to you based purely on the price and the two extra needles, then please, Watch on as I continue to sell you this machine over the Brother 10 needle. As standard, the Brother comes with four hoops. A teeny tiny hoop, your standard 10 by 10 centimetres hoop, uh, a 13 by 18 centimetre hoop and the large uh, 20 centimetre by 30 centimetre hoop. Happy Japan, on the other hand, comes with not one, but two teeny tiny 12 centimeter hoops, two middle sized 15 centimeter hoops, two slightly larger 18 centimeter hoops, two generously sized 29 by 29 centimeter hoops. And last but not least, it comes with a hat driver, the uh, hat mount and the two cap attachments. So you can hoop one hat up while the other one is embroidering. And I'm pretty sure, I'm like 80% sure this comes as standard but uh, don't quote me. So that's four extra hoops, a cap frame, and two extra needles, and it's £600 less. Yeah. Another thing relating to the hoops and how they vary between the two embroidery machines is there's a lack of versatility. On the smaller hoops, it doesn't matter so much, but when it comes to the larger hoops, as you can see here, the brother's hoop is quite long and thin. So if you're trying to make a larger design, you're kind of restricted in, you can't make the design as wide as it is long. And you will find that does become an issue when you're trying to embroider large pieces on say pillows, for example. The Happy Japan hoop is square. And so it provides more opportunity for you to make those larger designs. Another issue with this hoop size is if you're trying to do a big project, for instance, on the back of a jacket, you're obviously going to want to take as much advantage of this hoop space as possible. So when you hoop up that jacket, you'll find that your embroidery hoop will be like this down the center of the jacket with one arm on this side and one arm on that side. And then when it comes to actually placing the embroidery hoop into the embroidery machine like so, just move it so you can see and bring that forward. All of your jacket material will be lying over the arm of the embroidery hoop and then as it's moving back and forth that material will get jammed up underneath this embroidery arm and it'll just ruin your jacket. So for large garments I would say this machine just can't do them. If you have a way of doing them I'd love to know but from my experience uh, embroidering on jacket backs or uh, large hoodie backs is just impossible because of the shape of the hoop. It's a really stupid, stupid design. And that goes for the uh, six needle machine as well. But to be paying like nine grand for a 10 needle and to not be able to embroider on absolutely anything, it's just a real letdown. The Happy Japan, on the other hand, with its square hoop size, makes it a lot easier to embroider large designs on the backs of garments because the hoop slides on like so 
and because of its design the garment hangs over the edges this way it doesn't interfere with the arm and so you're more likely to have a lot more success embroidering on the backs of garments with this machine than the brother PR machines. I'm not saying it's gonna, you're not gonna have the occasional fault where something does get caught up in the arm. I'm just saying it's a lot less likely to happen on this machine or you can control the likelihood of it happening on this machine a lot easier and a lot better than you can on the brother PR because the shape of the hoop on the PR it just doesn't allow you to embroider on garments in the positions that you'd want to embroider on them. Next, what better way to test overall dominance than a speed test? Three, two, one, go. so no little bits can get back there and all of the gunk that's around the wheel just drops off like so whereas on the brother pr all of the fluff and stuff gets stuck right down the length of the arm because of its uh, open shaft kind of design all of your little cuttings of thread and things get just stuffed down there and it's not very easy to clean without taking the whole of the uh, casing off which is time consuming and annoying. The Brother machine also comes with some specialized tools for changing the needles and threading the machine. This specialized screwdriver, which is like in the shape of a hexagon, is for unscrewing the needles and taking them out. And this kind of grabby thing helps you thread the embroidery machine around these little hook-like objects at the top of the needles is part of the threading process it has has to happen if you lose these two you are stuffed whereas with our friend the happy voyager back here you can change your needles using a standard phillips head screwdriver and to thread the needle you can just loop the thread around the hook like so with your fingers and it's no big headache however 
I want this to try and be a fair review and it's not all doom and gloom for the Brother Machines. After all, they are designed to be extremely user friendly. So if I turn Matilda on here, you can see that when you load up a design, I'll just have a look what we got here. When you load up a design, if you're not happy with the colors, you can change them really easily. And there is an enormous color palette to choose from. In fact, I think you've got the whole of the, whoops, you've got the whole of the Madeira color chart in here and so many different shades to choose from. With Happy, on the other hand, you get this. And if you're really feeling adventurous, this. Lots of the same shade of blue and dark colors. And sometimes it's really difficult to tell these colors apart and you will end up making a, a mistake on your embroidery design and it's very disappointing and it could be avoided if they just had some more variety in their color palette i don't understand why they don't another really amazing feature of the pr machines is how easy their tensions are to operate you don't have to worry you can take them apart you can screw them back on and everything is absolutely easy and straightforward you can adjust your tensions no problem with happy, it's Spaghetti Junction, and you just gotta pray and keep turning and hope for the best. Another really handy feature that comes as standard on the PR machines, the 10, uh, the Brother 10 needle PR and the six needle is this laser, which you can see on my hand here, and it helps you line up your embroidery designs. Uh, this does not come as standard on the happy machines, you can, but you can pay for it as an extra. Uh, a lot of people will argue that you don't need it as the laser doesn't actually show exactly where the needle is going down. So for instance, if I was to press start now, it wouldn't stab exactly there on my finger. It would stab a little bit in front of it. But yeah, the laser function is very useful, but it's not completely accurate. And then possibly one of the most useful features of all that the Brother Machines have which the happy machines don't is the automatic threading tool. So I just hook my thread around here like so. Sorry, my hand got in the way of the camera, but uh, the thread is hooked around the little arms of the automatic thread cutter. You cut the excess thread off at the top with the little knife that's in there. And then you hit the needle threading button, which is here. And just like that, your needle is threaded. Happy Japan, get ready to waste hours of your life threading needles. So that's this everybody. That is my honest review of the Brother 10 needle PR machine and why I think you're better off getting the 12 needle Happy Voyager machine instead. I know that the Brother PR 10 needle didn't physically feature in this video but as I said to you before I have owned that machine in the past I bought it second hand and I then sold it on I just wanted you to be aware that there are other machines out there which you can get a better deal for for a lower price than the Brother PR that being said the Brother PR is an incredibly reliable uh, easy to use and there's a great support network for that particular machine so if you're a hobbyist and maybe you're not particularly confident in using your embroidery machine, that's not a bad thing. And that's why that machine exists to help you. If you're an embroidery business, I would certainly recommend getting to grips with the embroidery machines a bit, for, bit more, learning how to adjust the tensions on them and really exploring what's available out there. Like I said, I went for the Happy Japans just because they were in my budget. But there are plenty of other multi-needle machine brands out there and really good ones too that I'm sure you can get at a deal that suits you and suits your budget if your budget is more than £9,000. Because generally speaking, the multi-needle machines do tend to be in excess of £10,000 if you're looking for a 12-needle or larger, with the exception of this one, of course, which we said already is £8,400 British pounds. 
So yeah, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate your support. I can't believe we're at 100 subscribers already. That is insane and I absolutely love it. And you've just motivated me so much to continue making these videos. If you'd like to see more of my content, please subscribe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and let me know what you'd like to see next time. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.